Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? It's me, John and Mama, here with Coffee Time with John and Mama. If you aren't catching us on Facebook, go to our page, like us, follow us, and uh, join us. Tonight is supper, but it's breakfast for supper. One of our favorite things to do. We eat a lot more in the winter than we do in the summer. Yeah, I don't know why, but we do. We do. I don't know. I guess it's just dark, and it's kind of like early morning, and it's like, yeah. let's just have some breakfast. Yeah. Mama's also making some lemon poppy seed. Yeah. Muffins. It's but this is not for one meal. This is the lemon poppy seed muffins. She'll bake them and we'll have them for uh, a snack Snacks or something ongoing. She's making it out of this um, Martha White. Martha White somebody pack. Sent us that or I or... don't know either, Mama. But it's the lemon them. poppy seed mix. She asked me yesterday, she said, How would that supposed to be too good with coffee? <laughs> So, Mom, what you going to do first? This is hot, so yeah. well, it's getting Well, you can hot. work on the meat. It's telling about it. Yeah. Okay, let's see what Mama's needs here. This is some um, cute pork cutlets Mama found on sale for two ninety nine, five oh two for that whole pack, and that'll be several meals right there. They're really five. Excuse me, five ninety nine for uh, a pound instead of two ninety nine. Mm. What a deal, Mama. You did good. We always look for bargains. Are you going to do lemon and poppy seed? Yeah, I'm going to get them in the oven. So I'm going to be cutting this meat and putting it on the, in the skillet here on this. And Mama's going to be fixing y'all some lemon poppy seed muffins to start with. So let's let her do that. And then we'll move right on. Hello, Bonnie Thacker. We'll move right on into um, breakfast for supper. Here's Mama. There you are, Mama. Okay, what I got is he showed you these lemon poppy seeds. I've never made these out of this package like it. It's Martha White. And what I did too, if you can see right here, is I put, I had just a mighty few blueberries left in a bag, not enough for nothing. And I thought, well, lemon and blueberries go good together. So I throw them in here to get them used up out of that package a little bit out of the freezer. And here's a half a cup of milk. That's all it says, just add milk. Half a cup of milk, and that's what I'm doing. And just mixing it up. You mix it up by hand like this. And that's all they are, too. It kind of startled me. I wasn't expecting it. Those loud noises bother you, Mama? Yeah, I must have my nerves on me, as they say. What's wrong with you, Mama? Mm -hmm. well, it was these, a kind of loud pop. These may be blue looking. Look. Because you got that blueberry juice in there. Yeah, well, it was frozen, just whole blueberries, but kind of turned it blue. We'll have blueberry lemon, blueberry muffins. So all I'm going to do now, I think I've got it mixed. Ooh. Is just pour some in here. Three fourths full, it says. Oh, I thought it was going three fourths. Mama won't talk to y'all. She forgets. Oh, I'm concentrating. I'm sorry. I done forgot. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, she does family that way too. Oh, yeah, it's bad. I get busy at work and I forget about it. Well, I said, so Mama, you ain't talking, to I'm busy. Well, I've got more than half this for her. I'll stick these in here. You hear these pork chops just a sizzling away. All I'm doing is cutting them and putting a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, salt and pepper on them. Hello, Miss Nola. How are you today? What are y'all having for supper? What's the weather like? I'm not complaining. But we have had rain, 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 rain today. 
In fact, we're in. Huh? Well, no, Mama, you're making. Let it on me. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. What I think is also funny is people say, "John, you don't ever let Mama do this. John, you don't let Mama. You don't let Mama do anything. Mama does what she wants to. John, let Mama talk. John, let. Y'all just don't know. Mama does what she wants to do. Don't you, Mama? Yes. She don't mind being on here, but she don't want to be in charge. And she don't want to cook and talk at the same time. She wants me to narrate your cooking, don't you, Mama? Yes. These are just getting salt and pepper, no bread, no nothing. Because these, we just don't want it tonight, to be honest. Uh, it's for for a breakfast, and I'd rather just have the pork chop. Mama, that was startling, too. I know. These, we won't eat all these tonight, but they'll be good tomorrow morning. They'll be good the next morning. You can't go wrong. If you're going to fix them, go ahead and fix them. Especially in the summertime. We, when we cook in the summertime, usually we try to make sure it's a couple of meals. And we probably wouldn't cook as often as we do if it wasn't for you all. Because sometimes we'll think, oh, we're going to heat up the kitchen tonight. Mom will say, well, we'll go ahead and film something. <coughs> black pepper. I just breathed in black pepper. Now, these are these big old cutlets like this, and I'm just cutting them down to more manageable sizes that we might eat. And it kind of goes with a biscuit. You know. This, we may have to go back <coughs> <laughs> Mama, are you trying to pay me back for that one little snap? Oh, I reckon I'm trying to pay everybody back for it. Mama dropped a set out of her ring. That was a big set. That was. These are going to have to go back on the big stove. This is, this is pan. It's just too big for the surface area of that... Um, Ah, what do y'all call it? Burner? It's too big for the surface area of the burner. Salt, pepper, don't breathe in. <laughs> it did already. It choked me down. Okay. Here is the last little piece, and we're going to cut it, fry them all up. Like I said, we won't eat all these, uh, but we will eat them tomorrow, and I might take one for lunch on a sandwich. Um, be good with a sandwich. That cut, that cut that one in four pieces. Mama, these are going to have to go back on the big stove. They are not I'm cooking. Turn back on for you. I listened to you that time. Oh, you was listening? Oh, yeah. They are not cooking. Well... You put this giant size skillet on the on a little burner, little I know. burner and you can't do it. Let's tuck him in right there. I get it skilled you can over here. Now, I'm gonna have to go discard this and wash my hands. So, you all mama come up here and sing for. Him. Oh, I'm like you can't sing for <laughs> We gotta do something, Mama. You can't just leave him hanging. Or you'll just have to leave them hanging, honey. Go there and talk, Mama. Oh. He knows I'm no good at this. I can't. You're the one that thinks you're no good. I think you're wonderful. I am no good at this. I can't keep him occupied. Say. Say, no. You mean hang me a little tune? Yeah. What would you like to say, Mama? Whatever you want to. He's, what would you like to say, Mama? You can come over here and take care of this while I'm getting <laughs> other stuff. Okay. So, I guess I could scramble some eggs up. I'm going to turn this one off. That, that eye right there. Folks, let me leave you hanging just another minute. I need a bowl. Well, I was going to reach back and get it, but I don't think I can. And a 
I get your muffin set to cook? I've got one filled hole, but I didn't have room for all of it. Not going to fix the eggs this moment because we got biscuits to go, and you usually fix your eggs last. So let's see what y'all are saying. Hello, John and Mama. Y'all are getting rain. We are. And we're not complaining. I know some of you folks are looking for rain. But it has rained. I don't have a rain gauge, but it has rained quite a few inches today. I'm pretty sure. I'm seeing some frowny faces. Oh. The frowny faces are down here in this little comment. I'm going to go over this little comment one more time down here. Some of y'all are getting awful sideways about it, folks. These are the STARS programs that Facebook has. I've been called anti-Christian. Uh, a lady said that uh, Christians didn't do that kind of thing. We have been accused of begging for STARS. We're not begging for nothing. Folks, you all can come on here every day that we film. You can watch for free. You never have to touch those STARS. But what I do want to say is look it up on Google what the stars are and what the program is. Every day I get shocked, stunned, and amazed people. John, are you begging for stars? No ma'am, no sir. This is a part of the monetization of Facebook. Because you all grew our page and it got larger, Facebook encouraged us and told us and they wouldn't post they wouldn't push our videos out. So if this upsets y'all just don't watch us. Delete yourself from our... Don't follow us. Uh, if this little stars message down here that Facebook post, I know it's got coffee time on there, but look at all the other videos. They all have that on there. We don't post that, folks. So, if it upsets you, and it has really upset some people, I can tell. Uh, if it does, we never... And I'm going to say this for everything, stars and everything else. If the way I use knives or the way we cook, or what we eat, or the fact that I'm not healthy, or I'm fat, or I'm overweight, if that really gets you sideways enough to make comments on here negative and rude, just don't let that bother you. We don't ever want to be a stumbling block to anybody, or make anybody nervous, upset, or stressed at all. So what I've been doing when I see the frowny faces, I just go in and block those people. I do not ever want to cause anyone any stress or discomfort watching our program because that's definitely what it's about. We're only here to enjoy, have a good time, spread the love of Jesus and have a little positive action uh, going on. So that's all we want to do. So uh, if you're going to get, I've had some pretty bad comments. Uh, the woman who said that we weren't Christian that was one of the worst ones that really hit me home. And it don't matter to me. I've never been the type of person who worried about what people thought or said. Never. And I won't start now just because of this programming. But I do want to explain it. And I, Nella had tried to explain it to some folks. Some people got hateful with her. Uh, folks, this ain't an arguing channel. This ain't a, a discussion that causes we don't do political. We don't do anything like that. We love everybody on here. We want everybody to be on here. Uh, we want you to spread it to your friends, your family, and have more people on here. Uh, because the more that we have, the more that we can share, and the more that we hope can lighten a load, make a positive influence. That's all we're wanting to do. That's it. That's all. Uh, everything on our page is free. The only thing we do, we sell Tupperware, and that's if you want it. And we always put that in the in the header. We don't we don't do it every day. We don't. When every time we come on here, you don't hear us trying to sell Tupperware. We sell the church cookbook. 100% of those proceeds go to the church. If you do want to send stars, you can. And we use that money. We buy church cookbooks and we give them out on cook-alongs. So that's it. There's no hidden agenda. There's nothing behind the scenes. So just enjoy. All I want y'all to do is enjoy and, and, and have a good time here. And love on each other and smile. I just want smiles and uh, positive because the world's full of the rest of that stuff and that's what we're trying to get away from. We're trying to get away from that negativity. So, <clears throat> just so you know, so there's no surprises later, 
if you start putting the frowny faces and making the con I'm just going to block you because I don't want you to be stressed out. I really don't. If you make other negative comments throughout the thing or Nola finds them, we're just blocking those folks. So it's, it is what it is. We try to block the trolls, we try to block the negative comments, and we try to block all the hatred and the bad stuff. So anyway, having said that, we're going to get on with supper here, but sometimes some things have to be said to get everybody on the same page. Um, Mama is getting ready for these biscuits. Mama's biscuits are the bomb. Now Mama will tell you she likes my biscuits. I think she likes my biscuits because she don't have to make them. Because hers is definitely better than mine. Right. Mama, how are you going to make them tonight? I'm just making, uh, putting a flour in here. and uh, uh, I've confused plate. her with that question. Yeah. Mama, here we go. I'm going to flip over and let you show us how you're going to make them. I put a tablespoon of sugar in my container. And I'm going to put a cup of flour. Uh, go ahead and make two and we'll have them left I'll over. Because now, Mama, you know we'll eat your biscuits till they're gone. I don't know that a biscuit very often ever gets lost here. And then this is my Crisco shorting. Shortening. Crisco shortening. It's a butter flavor. Butter flavor. This is. I'm just going to put like a couple of tablespoons of this in here. That one hardly. Oh, I like this filming you. Don't you just let me film you? Oh, no. Can't take that. I done all of this and didn't get out my buttermilk. I'll get it. I know that's forgetting something. I'll get it, Mom. Oh, it's thick too, remember? Yeah, and I'll have to add a little water because that's so thick. It, I don't know why it's, this has been thick. The what? I don't know why that's so thick. Right you ready for it? No, well, i got to get my uh, shortening mix just a little bit better. Shortening mix. Cut it in so it won't be... Just little beads, crumbly like. Okay, I've got that. And here we go with this thick. Yeah. Well, this ain't hardly as thick as it was the other day. I shook it good. I know it. It's just been really thick. They've made it thick. It's whole buttermilk, which. That you want to use whole if you can. That's what we use is hold all the time. But it's been big. What's your thoughts on these pork chops? Well, they're probably about not hard. Yeah, I think I should leave them on there or take them out? Take them, I mean, leave them on there a little bit longer. Okay. <clears throat> what happened to Mama's elbow? Oh. Janice, it's the smallest little bitty spot you've ever seen. Um, what'd you do it originally on, Mama? Just the door frame? I hit it on the door frame. If you let, if you put it next to a pencil eraser, it'd be the pencil eraser would be much bigger than what it is. <laughs> That's the truth. But Mama takes blood thinner, and uh, because of that, any little bump, if it bleeds, it bleeds good. And she bumped it last night on this door frame coming out of the pantry. When was right cooking. before we started cooking. And uh, that's when I told her I was going to cut it off because it certainly had offended her. I was going to tell him you cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> but that bandage is big, but it's just a little bitty, bitty spot. It just kept oozing and oozing. But that's what we go through with every time she gets a little bump. We do watch it. People was worried last night because she's diabetic. We watch it. We take care of it. You can see last night she slept with a a um, thing on it. To, like a sock. It was like a sock on it. It's uh, flannel and it was a sleeve that you put over top of bandages and that's what she slept in and it worked out good. But bless her heart she has a, a trouble with it. I bump it every time I turn around. Ever since she had stents 
she's got to have the blood thinners. And uh, that's the reason she has the blood thinners. I take blood thinners. Susan, you know what, you're, you know what she's dealing with then. <laughs> Mama Susan says she can relate to you. Yeah, you can. They'd have to hospitalize me if I had oh, to said, <laughs> Yeah, we'd have to take you somewhere, Mom. Maria says she's wondering what to do with the butter flavor Crisco. Oh, Maria, anything you bake that butter flavor Crisco is wonderful. And you can use it in fried apple pies. You can use it in pie crust. You can use it with biscuits. You can put it in cornbread. You can do It's just wonderful. You can do it. It is wonderful. Uh, we got some good rain in Clarksville last night. Yes. I'm on blood thinners, Glenda. Yes, you know this. You know the struggle. I also want to add what I said about a while ago. Miss Nola, uh, y'all see Miss Nola Thompson on here. She answers questions. She helps with trolls. She definitely is a friend of the face of the Coffee Time crew. She's part of us. Somebody asked her the other night who she thought she was. <laughs> she oh. is. Uh, she definitely uh, is a big part of what we do. We're proud to have her, and uh, we appreciate you, Miss Nola. And uh, you uh, help me out tremendously. She sends me a list of the trolls that come on here and try to talk with you, uh, ladies, and uh, it's it's a big help. Just don't respond to them. Don't talk to them, um, and you'll be okay. But if you start clicking. Then you could get into some trouble with them because that's what they're on here for is to try to get you to come to their site. We've also had some sites wanting you to come for healing. Oh my. And uh, some for other stuff. Just please don't pay any attention to those. Um, they're not good. Nola's posting the biscuit recipe right now, she said. Thank you, Miss Nola. Um. Well, thank you, Linda. We love having y'all here. We really do. Listen, folks, sometimes I have to say a few things when it comes up like that, but 98% of you folks are simple angels, and we love each and every one of y'all, and I would never, you know, and it really, the thing that makes me the mass is when people are arguing with you all and talking to you all negatively and saying awful things. I'm not going to have that. I mean, I wouldn't have it in my house, and this is like, this is my house. And I'm just not going to have people talking to y'all like that. We appreciate your helping, Nola. Yes, Nola, we do. Everybody send some hearts up for Nola. It's rude to be that way, and I don't like rudeness at all. No, we're not doing rude. It upsets Mama. Mama don't get as upset as she wants to. Usually she cried every time somebody said something or something. I said, Mom, if we're going to do this, you can't get that upset. So she don't get quite that upset anymore. Noah has answered many of my questions. Thank you. Noah, uh, yeah, Brandy Noah answers the questions. She knows the answers. And if she don't know, she immediately uh, uh, PMs me and gets the answers. She'll say, so and so's needing to an answer. And uh, we'll get it for you. Mama makes it look so easy. Uh, Antoinette, she does. Now, when I do it, I stir it up. I, I don't roll them out, I pat them out on the counter, and I cut them out. Mama don't do that. This is my Papa's uh, version. And uh, they, you spoon them? Is this what this is, Mama? I put them in my hand. I don't know. I've spooned. I mean, this what? Well, no, spooning. spooning, and you they like, just dip it out with the spoon and drop it in the pan. This is what Mama's made them ever since I was a kid. Um, it's wonderful. Good evening, John and Mama from Indiana. Well, hello, Martha. How are you? Oh, Nancy, that's a good idea. Mama, Nancy just said, um, Nancy, I don't think we've ever done that. Uh, Nancy Twainy says that it, the Butterfly Crisco is great for frying chicken. Oh, I had my fried chicken, did it? Nancy, we'll try that. Thank you for that. That's what I love about Coffee Time. We learn from y'all. I mean, there's things that I do differently today because one of y'all said so. Um, and it's wonderful. That's what it's all about. I mean, I know there's a lot of y'all and, and a lot of us, but it really is just like you're sitting here in the kitchen with us. Uh, and we see your names roll up through here on every video, and we know you all. Uh, there's some of y'all been with us from the beginning, and you all really are like family. 
uh, and we and we love it. We love having y'all on here, and we love talking. Pam, 102 degrees. Where you at, girl? Holy, is that feels like or is that in Oregon? Oh mercy! Or now, Portland, we're, Oregon. We're at 79 degrees today, but we've had storms about all day. I really, uh, you're lucky, John. Your mama is special. Oh, uh, sorry, Sharon. Uh, I, y'all tell me all the time how lucky I am. I am completely 100% blessed to have my mama. I had a wonderful daddy. I had a wonderful mama and daddy, and I know that, and I appreciate it, and I thank the Lord for it every day. Um, two beautiful people, and just, you know, it means the world to me. Hello, Trevor Rigney. Trevor, be, out, be careful on that road. It's awful. A lot of water. I just fried squash. I love squash. Most of the time, I don't get responses from you, but I know that you're getting a lot of comments, and they go fast on my end. Uh, Crystal Brown, they do go fast, but thank you for understanding. A lot of people, <coughs> I don't know why, but they think that I'm just ignoring them for some reason. Um, well, thank you for the hugs, Crystal, from Vermont. Oh, Crystal, Vermont's one of my go-to places I'd love to go someday. I'd love to go up the whole New England co uh, coast. But we don't ever, ever miss anybody on purpose. And sometimes I'm really upset when I get out from here. <clears throat> I read the, the messages. <clears throat> Somebody said, would you shout out to my mama who's turning 80 or... And I think, oh no, we missed that. Um, thank you, Betty. Thank you so much, so sweet of you. Um, hello, John and Mama from Poland, Ohio. Thank you, Barb. 98 feels like 101. Yes, Paula. It, we've been blessed today. It's been stormy, it's been rainy. But it's not been that hot. Has it been hot here today, Mama? No. Callan, thank you. We always look forward to coming to you all. Somebody asked me the other day, said, I bet you, you and Mama have done this so long now that it's not much fun anymore, is it? And I said, no, it's it's as much fun as it ever was. And uh, we look forward to it. And we, we actually get withdrawals. Like, oh, we've got to get on coffee time if we don't or if we miss a day or if sickness comes or the internet's down oh y'all know what that is like um mama and i don't do any planning um and i guess it shows i guess our, our non-planning shows we don't want to plan um i know that sounds crazy but we just want it to be real we just want it to be you and us in the kitchen cooking and talking at the end of the day how was your day you know just like a normal family does uh, we don't do any programming we don't have any uh, set plans uh, the only thing we plan and we only do it usually sometimes minutes before sometimes around midday I'll call mama and say what do you want for supper and she said, I don't know. What do you think? And then she said, well, I got pork chops in there. Um, but now she did tell me about these the other day. And she said, we can have them for breakfast one night. And I said, that sounds great. So uh, that's just what we're here for. And like I said before, we really are just here. Mama, look at the biscuits. Show them up here close. We really are just here for a coffee break. That's what coffee time started out as. It's just a coffee break. Now this right here just keeps... <gasps> Ooh. Baptized in buttermilk, Mama. This just keeps the flour from being on there. It makes them golden brown. Keeps them from drying out. The little bit of buttermilk on the top. You'll see when they come out how golden brown they are. And they don't have that white flour on them. And uh, it's, it makes it better. But we really do just want this to be a coffee break from the world. We want this to be just a few minutes. Because, you know, we all need that. We all need that time when we can simply unplug from the world, decompress, and just laugh and have a good time. Love poppy seed 
muffins. And they're out, folks. Look at them over on the stove. You see them golden brown muffins sitting over there? Mama's elbow. <laughs> Looks like you got a little pack of flour. <laughs> <coughs> Move that bowl and salt shake and I'll set them down. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Now, what's the deal on these, Mom? We need to take them out of these or leave them in these? No, we need to take them out when you can because I've got a couple of more. Look at that lemon poppy seeds. Look at them eggs scattered all over the counter. I moved them. I'm sorry. Uh, these are country eggs. And these, look at this green one. Can y'all tell on the camera that that's green? It's a pretty sage green color. It doesn't show up on the camera like that. And here's a white one. Now, some people think brown eggs are country eggs. That's not true, folks. This is as country as they get. But these come from a white legger and chicken. And they have white eggs. And then here's your typical country brown. I thought that was a piece on the egg. Sometimes you'll have those chunks on it, but that's a piece of butter. But that's a brown egg. And here's another green egg. You'll have chickens that lay green eggs, chickens that lay white eggs, brown eggs, blue eggs, some Easter chickens they call them. They lay different colored eggs. Blue, green, whatever color. Yep. And they're all good and they're all edible. And you, you don't have to refrigerate country eggs like you do store-bought eggs if they've never been refrigerated. Now if they have been refrigerated, you want to keep them that way. But they can last, I'm not going to tell you time because that's not, I'm not the expert on it. But I will say, I wouldn't care to eat a country egg that had been laying out for a week or so on the counter. It had never been put in the um, refrigerator. All right, folks, these are poppy seed blueberry muffins. I've not got many blueberries in them. What do you want these? Oh. You want me to take them out? Yeah, you can. I don't know what to put them on. I'm just going to dump them out on a platter or something for you want me to do them on They're hot. <laughs> there they are, and they're warm. Let's dump them right out here. And they all fill out nice and easy, but one little hanger on her. Let's see what his problem is. What's wrong with you? Here's a butter knife, my boy. It's just called Look at on. all of them come out slick as they could be. Mama put Baker's Joy. No, I've used the wrong thing. I used that other Baker. That's my fault. You didn't use Baker's Joy? No, I picked up the wrong Oh, one. I know what the problem was with that one. Blueberries went to the bottom, and I coat them so they wouldn't. They tell you to coat them, and they won't go to the bottom. But no, sometimes they will. Sometimes they'll go to the bottom, no matter what you do to them. But you see here, that one that's stuck in there, it's total blueberries on the bottom. And they stuck to the oh, thing just a little. Oh, that's a good sign, Mom. Hmm, the little lemon puff seed. Is it good? Mm, it's wonderful, Mama. Good. Wonderful. Did you say you got more to bake? Just a little bit more. It's not enough. They sure are good, Mama. Those would be so good with coffee, folks, or tea, or whatever you choose, but you know me, I'll be drinking coffee. Mmm. Delicious. So, you ready for me to do eggs? Yes, ma'am. She said we can break them up. When you're doing your eggs, there's a lemon poppy seed. You want a fold of chicken in? Yes, Mom. I've had a mess. I think that was the right answer, but I really wouldn't check them in at all. Johnny. <laughs> trace the trace, Mama. I do check it, but let me show you how to check. 
Mama, this is what she does. I check them like this. So when I'm doing an egg, I'll look, see what the white looks like, look at that yellow, and then I'll pour it in there. And it's checked to me. Because what I'm checking for, is there any thing in it? Is there, is it cloudy? I can crack it and look at it. But this is where you check an egg. Is you put it in a bowl before you put it in the rest of them. And the reason you check eggs is because if you were to just open this up and dump it in there, you'd run all the eggs in there instead of just the bad one. But see, I can crack that up and I look at it. It's okay. Um, if you're going to do a cake mix or you're putting it in pancake mix or something like that, you don't want to just put an egg in there without checking it, as they say, because you've run your whole container because you really can't pick that out. You don't want to anyway if it's a bad egg. Or if you miss one little bit, you know. So mama's right, as usual, it's good to check them. Do I always do it? No, because I'm... I don't have the patience for it, really. When I'm doing them, I just... And to be honest with you, I've never really had a problem. I had one time, when I was frying eggs, I found one bad one, and I just poured dumped it out of the skillet right quick and it was fine. See, I hate this. I just yep. about to get my elbow again. Mom, I'm going to have to get you football pads. She about hit her elbow again. What, what are you sticking the elbow out so far for? I don't know. I can't walk through doorways. <laughs> are you walking around like this, Mama? So <laughs> oh, folks, giving Mama a hard time. You have to lie sometimes to keep from being sad. When you're doing eggs, you can do one of two things. You can put a little water in them. You can put a little milk. Milk makes them a little denser. Water makes them a little fluffier. Um, but you don't want to put much of either. You want milk in these? If you're warm, This is cream. Um, oh, Kansas is getting tougher. They ain't made out of cheese, can No, they ain't. They're pretty stout. You can put just a drop of. Let me see. If, if you can't see, you can move those comments to the right. You can put just a drop of. This is evaporated milk. So you put just a drop of that in there, or you can put water. Uh, both of them works about the same. Probably, though the milk makes them a little denser, if anything. And I go ahead and put the salt and the pepper in them. And a little dash of black pepper. Just like that. Now, I'm going to get some butter. We keep our butter in a butter dish here. Mommy, you making gravy already? Yeah. We're going to show them how over here. You know what it is. Good to show. <laughs> Mama, don't. <laughs> Mama, don't remember that you all would want to see her make stuff. So that's the reason a lot of times she has it half made. So she started the gravy. You can bring it over here if you want to, Mama. Oh. This butter we keep right by the stove over there, not on top of it where it's hot, but near. And that's just softened butter. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a little bit of... Which butter? That one? You can have this hotter one and I'll move for these eggs. Go ahead and put the butter in there. I just put about, not even a tablespoon of butter. Since Mama's got a head here, let me take you over here and show you what she's doing. It's Mama, catch them up since you started without them. Uh, it needs something different. But what is that? Tell them what It's that. just the, the grease from the pork chops. This is the skillet I fried the pork chops in, or the tender one. And uh, I just put uh, flour in here is all it's got in there. So how much grease was in there? 
You want your grease and your flour to match. If you have two tablespoons of grease, then put two tablespoons of flour. If you have a tablespoon of one, put a tablespoon. So it's one to one. And then we put black pepper. And we put quite a bit of pepper because we love pepper, especially on our gravy. Now this will probably get cool because this, see how big this is and the eye is just in the middle there. And this is just salt. I may have to bring it back over here. I, yeah, you can, but just catch them up. You're going to show them this cream and milk, cream and water. Yeah, I'll put, uh, I'll put about the same cream and water, whatever I put, I just pour it. I don't measure. So that's about a cup of cream. And I'm going to add water to make it up our and with the cream, when you use, you can use people, some people just use water. Some people just use 1% uh, or 2% milk. We've always used evaporated milk in water. Now, I don't know why. That's why my mom made it. <laughs> yeah, but it seems like, you know, the, putting the water in it would weaken the cream down, but the flavor is a little different than 2%. Or milk. Or milk. But you just want to... And what you're going to do is you're going to let this this mixture, this roux, this is a roux, you're just going to let it get brown as you want. Now, remember this, you're putting in milk and water, so however brown it is, it's going to lighten it way up because it won't stay as brown as it is once you put the cream and the water in there. It just won't. You make any questions about Gravy 101? I think I was for a job. Uh, I was taught to make a cross with your salt that is perfect amount and you bless the food too. Well, that is sweet, Susie. And I bet that would be about the right amount. You're, that's a good thing. Where did you get the butter dish? Love it. This came from Amazon. And it's just a, just a white butter dish and it's got, Mama dropped it and it knocked a chunk out of it. It's got the rubber seal around it so it keeps the butter. We do still have our butter bale that we keep on the table. Uh, you didn't hurt the seal though when I broke it. No, just the top. But I don't, I like, you know. Like, when something like that happens to this, I remember the day Mama dropped it and a chunk fell out of it. It just gives a little bit of character. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, and sometimes when I'm trying to get it off, it's handy to grab there. But anyway, it, it is handy for that. My face is getting red in here. I've been out in the sun. There was some sun where I was at today um, for lunch. And I think I, you know, how I can't do the sun. All right, folks, move your comments over to the right, and I'm going to show you this egg. So I've got four yolks in here, four eggs, four whole eggs. Don't let me confuse you, four whole eggs. But I want to poke each yolk because when I start... Mama, is that your gravy burner? Or brown and it ain't brown. You got it good and brown. Yeah, I just thought it was my spoon for a second. I thought I smelled something burning. So you want to poke those yolks and kind of mix them around a little bit so you don't um, have the yolks just turning because they'll just roll in there. And then you want to roll it with your fork and you're whipping air in there. You hear that? You see that? That's what you're doing. You're whipping air, and that's going to make them lighter and fluffier. You don't want to stir them. You don't want. You want to whip them. You can use a whisk, but a fork works fine. And I tilt it at an angle like this, so that when I'm whipping, I get more air circulating down in there. And then. You just put them in your skillet. A lot of people keep one skillet for an egg skillet, and that's a good idea. And uh, it works out good that way, especially if you're frying them. Uh, this is the non-stick, and it's the type of wire we don't necessarily use this just for an egg skillet, but it works out really good for an egg skillet.
It's a good size. And you just want to stir them. And I like to push mine outward, come to the center, push them outward. But I noticed the other day, Mama likes to pull hers inward. And I never had noticed that till I was watching her the other day. So I push mine out like this and let that center keep. I know what you're smelling. It's a piece of bread dropped down in there, doesn't it? Um, I just now realized what you're Oh. You can turn that vent on over there, Mama. Just keep pulling it outward and let the raw egg go into the center. Which mama's idea works the same if you push it inward and let it come around to the sides. So there's no wrong way. You do you. Now if I'm making for an egg sandwich, I try to just leave it on there and do it in high enough to cover it. Turn it one piece. But if I'm doing scrambled eggs for breakfast, I don't worry about keeping it all one piece to stay on the bread. I just kind of move it around, stir it around. And then I turn it over. I don't like them browned. Uh, even for an omelet, I don't care for that brown eggs. I like them to be just the bright yellow that they're supposed to be. Um, if you're worried about an omelet not being done and you don't want to leave it on there long enough for it to get brown, like I don't, I go ahead and make my omelets and I know there's a little bit of raw egg because when you're putting your ingredients in there and if you don't, you wait till it completely cooks, it is going to be brown on the bottom. But I uh, put mine in the microwave for about 30 seconds after I make the omelet. And uh, it cooks the inside, of course, like a microwave does. And that's what I'm wanting. And uh, it's nice and fluffy. Uh, Tupperware makes an omelet maker. And it gets them done all the way through the first time. Because it cooks them from the inside out. And there's beautiful golden eggs. Low and slow. You don't want your you don't want it to be on maximum heat. You don't want it to be so hot. And uh, it will cook a little bit longer in the skillet, so take that into account. So you can see they're nice and yellow on both sides. No brown. I don't like this scorched egg. in there. She just used the same one she had. There is the um, eggs. I'm going to move this hot plate around and I'm going to grab us a couple plates. Oh, she's coming over here to show you all the gravy. So see, the gravy is good and it's a good color. It's good bubbling. Look at that. Smells good. Looks good. It's good consistency. Now it does have those little brown specks in it and that's the little goodie we call it in the south. Goodie off the bottom of the pan. And what happens is when you fry meat in here some of that goodie, it sticks to the bottom. When you put your oil from, you know, you leave your oil in there and when you put your flour, but then when you add that milk, it pulls all that off the bottom. And if you take your spoon and stir it too, when it pulls it off the bottom, then it puts it in your gravy. It's so good. This is quite a bit of carbs and all that good stuff. But we don't eat this every day, as you all know. And we don't normally eat it in the morning. Our big breakfast meals with gravy and biscuits are either on a Saturday morning when we're planning on doing nothing or at night. But we don't eat this often. I can't even remember the last time we've done biscuits and gravy. In fact, I'm sure, I'm almost sure, 
you all was with us when we had it last. So however long that's been. Do you remember last time we had it, Mama? Oh, it's been a while. Since had it. Another thing I love, love with biscuits and gravy is fried apples. We're not having that tonight, but if you want to add that to your breakfast menu, oh, you won't be sorry of that. Because it sure does make for a tasty breakfast. That's for sure. This hot plate is hot, because I think that maybe the one reason my face is getting hot is I can feel the heat coming off from it. Mama, you through with a hot plate? Uh, yeah. Take it in her head. She can take that in her head. I'm not under it. It just sounds like it's roaring like a freight train. Folks, y'all y'all stand right there a second. I'm fixing to move the cooker. I'm gonna leave the gravy on there. Yeah. Mom, what plate you want to use tonight? these pork chops they've been pre-tenderized and they're more like pork fillets pork tenderloin. pork tenderloin they're look at that golden brown isn't that beautiful now we will not eat all these tonight we'll probably eat one a piece and then we'll have them for the next day and we'll have them also for maybe lunch Wait a moment. now that tea is caffeinated Drink, you want some coffee? No, I'll drink this. I spry, I mean. Is that what you have? You already have it? <laughs> Bless no, you, excuse me. No, I'll get one. I've got coffee, of course. Of course, I'm going to have coffee with breakfast. Mama has the biscuits. They're coming. Biscuits are coming, she said. Butter. For the biscuits, of course. Eggs, pork chops, and gravy. Let me show y'all this. My mama's bringing over the biscuits. I'm not Eggs, here. pork chops. Is that it's all off, mama. And there's the gravy. She's gonna put the biscuits right there. One thing about this hot plate, it uh, will keep your food warm while you're eating. A lot of y'all asked me before we got the hot plate. It was a gift from Miss um, Pam. And, and, oh, all your biscuits come out there. I know. Joe, hand me, uh, let me just come to you, Mom. That's hot. Hold on a second. Uh, from Oregon. Look at that. Look at that. Yum. Pam's a Those rows. Yeah, Pam's a wonderful person. Pam is a wonderful person. Joe's one. We appreciate them. And, uh, I hope Joe's not sick. Miss Pam, let us know how y'all are doing. Um, we've been thinking about y'all. Anyway, Nola's got the information on it, and she posts it from time to time when people ask. I don't even remember the name of it, and it's not like printed on it right there somewhere. It's on the book. Uh, you need a big ripe tomato. Peggy, I'm going to say this, and y'all are going to say, this is not the real John. I'm not one of those people who lo I love, love tomato and um, eggs and toast, but I don't like them with the gravy. Is that not weird? Mama, you want a, a tomato? No, I don't eat it with gravy. That's where you get it from. <laughs> now, if we didn't have gravy, we'd be all over that tomato. But I just don't like it with the gravy. Now, a lot of people said Now, your like daddy it. would eat it every once in a while. But, but I mom. never did, and Mama never did. Is that not weird? Now, Peggy, explain that. Um, how can we be so different about the gravy versus the tomato? But we are. 
I know. I know. I don't ever turn down a tomato. But I don't even, I don't want the tomato in the gravy. Now, I love tomato gravy. We're going to make that one today, folks. We make tomato gravy every year. And uh, we have it this year. But we're going to. But uh, I don't know. We've never eaten uh, tomato with gravy. Just something about it. I don't like the thoughts of it. Now, don't, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying we don't do that. Look at that beautiful biscuit. Look at steam, folks. And that is a beautiful biscuit. Beautiful, beautiful biscuit. Mama, these rolls and come over the side. They're so happy to be. I know it. real bad. Not real bad. Mama said this rising real bad. They ain't real bad. I love a big old fluffy biscuit. When they rise like that, you've done it right. How do you get fluffy biscuits and not tough hard biscuits? I get that question every once in a while. The key to a good biscuit is put your ingredients in that bowl. Stir it what you need to, put it in the pan and bake them. The more you work with them and the more you uh, knead them and all that, the tougher they get. The more of those uh, things you release, the glutens and all those things, and just the fluffier the biscuit is the least you work with it and make it hard. Is that right, Mama? Mm -hmm. My mama taught me that. <laughs> what well, did it? No. Well, now, I misunderstood the question. Did you say I was saying if they tasted any good? Any bad. <laughs> any bad? Oh, no wonder I misunderstood the question. They don't taste any bad, Mama said. They don't look the best in the world. You want to break that up or are you going to do yours? No, I'll just break mine up and play. You going to do your own? You ain't fooling with me? I ain't fooling with you. Okay, Mama. I understand. I understand. Now, this is simple. It's not a lot. Uh, like I said, sometimes we do apples or something like that with it. Or hash browns. How much eggs you want, Mama? Just a little bit of that. Oh, I'm fixing you up. Get me some protein with all this carbs. That's good. You sure? Yeah. And what about this little piece of meat? That little piece of meat's fine. Does it look tender to you? I hope it is. Thank you. All right, Mom. Mm. I miss the apples not being on here. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what we, we talked about them too much. Do we have apples in there? Not cooked. <laughs> Should have brought that up, Tom. Mm -hmm. Let's bless our meal. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. And dear Lord, we're just privileged to have it. And dear Lord, we just thank you for those who worked hard to produce it and bring it into the country. And dear Lord, you're just, you're just blessing us over and over. And we just thank you so much. Dear Lord, be with our friends that are here tonight. And just be with each and every prayer request. And put a hedge protection around each and every one of them. Dear Lord, in your precious name, we pray and ask these things. Amen. Amen. All right, Mama. Do you think you're going to need a knife? Let's have the bite, the good bite. Now I'm gonna have to have some more black pepper. I know, I know you've had plenty, John, but I'm gonna have to have some more on this right here because that's the way I roll. I saw my salad when I ate a green salad. I saw it once. I ate that top layer, then I saw it. I mean pepper once and then I eat the top layer and I pepper it again. And as you can see, this is a pretty good sized pepper pepper. And we end up filling it up about every two weeks because... You eat the pepper. I do eat a lot of pepper. I you try to cut back knife. on the salt. You need a knife. No, Mom, I cut that meat just easy as easy. Did you have trouble with it? No, I just do better. That meat's good. Okay, Very good. tasty. Now let's try this gravy. Oh, I'm worried about the gravy not tasting good. Why are you worried, Mama? You didn't your medic. Is this your first time making it? Yeah. Huh. Tastes delicious for your first time, Mama. It is. 
don't like to make it in there. Maybe her 10,000 at first. I don't like making it in that skillet. I like my How heart. come you did make it in the skillet? I was oh, surprised. I fried the meat. There's so much meat. I couldn't get it in my arm skillet. Uh. I'm not like the woman that cut off her hand to make it fit her pot, so I just got a pot big enough to fit my pork chop. <laughs> so next time you're pouring your arm skillet, though. I might do that. But your goodies is in the bottom of the pan. the pain. bottom of the pan. So that's what I was wanting, the flavors. Well, if I hadn't seen it, I wouldn't know what pan you fix it in. It's so good. Mm, real good. And the pork chops is good. Now let's try the eggs. Yeah. Can't beat a good country egg. Mm -hmm. Did you like the eggs? Mm -hmm. They're good and fluffy. That's what we're going for with them on. Yeah. And you can't beat the good coffee to go with it. Mmm. Mmm. All right, you. You'll be up all night tonight. No, I don't think so, Mama. I, now, if I drink a big thing of tea or Dr. Pepper, oh, I'd probably be a, a long time. But. I don't know. Coffee don't bother me as much. Why? I wonder why that is. No. A doctor pickle. You think my body just don't even recognize it? It thinks it's the blood going through your veins. You've got coffee flowing through them. Oh, it's the truth, folks. Um, that's it. Folks, tomorrow night's Friday night. You know what's on Friday nights. It's until what we'll get into. Anybody got a hey mama joke up there? I've got Rusty on there. You get them all the time, mama. I ain't had one looks before. good, Donna. It is good. Donna, pull her fix you up something. Wow, that looks delicious. It is, Anthony. And you know, it's not hard to make. It's not at all hard to make. And if you've never made gravy, and you're afraid of it, get the packages of gravy. They've got some pretty good packages in the stores. And you go by the directions on those for your first few times. But don't be afraid, folks. Don't be afraid. Um, to me, a scary job would be to do anything that involves someone else's life. If I give a medicine, like you nurses, my hats are off to you. All the, all the respect in the world. I mean, my job is not life. It doesn't depend. Um, my, what I do not depend on somebody living or dying exactly. That would be too much. When you're cooking in your kitchen, it's your kitchen. It's for fun. You may make six batches of batches of gravy, and on the sixth one, you'll have exactly what you want. It's worth it. Just keep trying. All it is is grease and flour equal parts. Stir them up. Get it as brown as you like. Milk and water, milk and cream equal parts. But if you use milk, two percent or or whole milk, just use milk. Don't mix no water. And you want to, you only want to put enough in milk in, as you want gravy. So if you have a bowl, put it, the milk up, leave about that much room. Pour the milk in on top of that grease and that flour that has burnt browned. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper in the flour and the grease. And then put your milk. And that's it, folks. It's easy. Same thing with biscuits. It's just flour, buttermilk, and uh, Crisco, and some butter. You can't go wrong with three little ingredients. And uh, don't be afraid of nothing. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's all yours. It's all fun. If you mess up, no big deal. Nobody dies. It's wonderful. Enjoy it. So, uh, it ain't eatable, toss it out, fry it in. Like about it. Tell, tell the story about how them biscuits was so hard you could have knocked the wind out with them. That's how my first ones were. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I just used water and flour. I didn't know any different. I don't know. I think I make glue biscuits. You, uh, it was our anniversary and we was out working on the house underneath it, putting insulation. And you, uh, Cooked us a supper while we was out there working. What, what, eight or nine or something like that? I, you you told the story, Mama. I don't even remember. You was, you was young. And me 
and your daddy ate those biscuits like this, this blood is such a big mess, so hungry and cold. That's another thing. Get your audience hungry and cold and they'll eat anything. <laughs> oh, mercy. Folks, live, laugh, and have a good time. And don't let things stress you out. Especially things we do on here. Don't get stressed. Gotcha. This is all about relaxation, living, and loving in life. Don't, don't, don't get sideways with stuff. Enjoy. Smile. Life is too short, way too short to be stressed out. When and, I was um, making those muffins, I thought about that. It was fresh blueberries. I dropped all in the floor, and I was frozen. I thought, oh, I made a big <laughs> mess. And it was right on the film. Everybody seen me drop. It's all real here, folks. It's life. you got to take the good with the bad and the bad with the good. And you want to. You want to enjoy it all. Just enjoy life. Yeah. Drop a few blueberries. No big life thing. and go on. Mommy, you got anything to add? Mm -mm. John, I am not. Let's see what this is. Um. It is so. Can't eat out. You can't have salt, Linda. There's some no salt products out there that you could have, and you can substitute. I can't read all that, Linda. It's going. It's going on up. Um, but uh, if you can't have salt, there are some no salt, and then you can use the pink Himalayan salt. We have some. We use it. We didn't use it tonight. But the pink Himalayan salt is a little bit better salt for you, especially if you have uh, problems with salt. I love Bonnie. Love Mama's stories. Mm -hmm. I love Mama's stories too. And sometimes she'll tell one I've never heard before. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it you told not long ago? I had never heard it before. That's not having a car growing up. Now, now that was a question I have. I remember a story you told. And I thought, Mama, I've never heard you tell that story before. Have a wonderful evening, Linda. You too. Y'all work up some Hey Mama jokes for tomorrow night. And we'll quiz Mama and see how she's doing. Ketchup on gravy? Now, Brenda, I've never tried that. I wait to see y'all all day. Well, thank you, Margie. We love to see you all, too. Hi, Mama. Shirley said hi, Mama. Hello, hello. Folks, we're going to go. And you all find you something good to eat. Um, she's got two little lemon blueberry muffins left over there in the oven that she's baking up now and look there that's gonna be good for a few days mm -mm. coffee you've got company we're gonna go y'all have a great night night i hope you've got good weather where you're at and i hope it's not too hot and i hope if you are needing rain you'll get some rain tomorrow we've been blessed with it today and we're thankful and uh, you all just have a blessed night enjoy yourselves and we'll see you here tomorrow night lord yeah. willing and uh, we'll cook up something. We or need to pray for all the areas not got rain. They say they're so dry and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bad time for drought. Um, we'll cook up yeah. something tomorrow night or, or something. We're back. It went away for a second. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna say good night to y'all. And uh, before we go off again, I guess it's the weather. But y'all have a blessed night. Enjoy yourselves, and we'll see you tomorrow, Lord willing. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama, and God bless you all. Bye-bye. Bye, bye. bye y'all.